Okay, this is a quick look at Adler Law Firm. A couple things real quick to start with. Th this website's got a blog, which is a good thing. It hasn't been updated in a while, which is a bad thing. But the, the way you should write the content is you should write blog posts and then you should take those blog posts, turn like every three or four blog posts into a press release and then take the press release, submit it to the press release sites and then link those back to the website as an attorney. I mean, you should really be able to get some really awesome content to do that with. In addition to that, you've got your page load time. It doesn't matter how much content you put on this website. And this website's got a lot of content and it's got some good content in here. When you start looking at the, like on the legal services, if you click through and look at the different things, he's got links, at least on some of the pages, this one's got some links, but he's got links inside the content and the links inside the content, Google can follow all those as long as the pay first content paint is within under a second. This one takes 2.2 seconds for the first content paint. So that means Google is going to limit how often and how deep they crawl this website. That will prevent Google from finding all this stuff. So even if you're adding pages every single day to the blog, this is a ranking penalty. People can say, oh, it's not a ranking penalty. It's just a Google just doesn't spider it as often and they don't go as deep. But it's a, it's a penalty. They're not going to find all the pages. In addition to that, it's got a penalty if it's not loaded in 2.5 seconds. So the page has to be fully loaded in 2.5 seconds. And not only do you have the ranking penalty, so you're losing traffic. Google said you lose like um, 2% of the traffic for every 100 milliseconds it takes to load. So this is 3.4 seconds. So it's a bunch of milliseconds. But in addition to that, Amazon said you lose for every 100 per, um, millisecond in latency, every 100 millisecond it takes to load, they lost 1% in sales. They said it accounted to 4 million in revenue. And, um, and I think that's per month. There's more than that for the year. But, um, you, I mean, you can see all this stuff here. Also, if you look that, and, and Google did some studies. The reason Google has a penalty at 2.5 seconds. It's because Google studied found that if a website takes three seconds to load, it's losing 53% of its traffic. What happens is this website's losing more than half its traffic because if you're on a cell phone and you come in here and you start clicking around on the, on the desktop, it's fast. But on the cell phone, it takes three seconds to load. And Google studies showed if a website takes just three seconds to load, it loses more than half its traffic on a mobile um, devices. So for that reason, they added the ranking penalty. They also said a two second delay will um, increase bounce rates, bounce rates by 103%. That was some other test. And they've got a 100 millisecond delay in web page load time can hurt conversions by 7%. So you've got all kinds of studies that show that if this thing's not, I mean, this website right here should be fully loaded, 100% fully loaded in under a second. Not only should the first content paint be in under a second, but this site should be fully loaded in under a second. And that should increase your conversions. If you're making, if you're getting a hundred sales for every so many visitors, that should increase immediately by, by improving the late load times. I mean, you, you should see According to Google, 53% more traffic. If you improve that, if you get this thing to load in a second, you should get um, half as much. I mean, you should get 53% 53 more conversions than what you're currently getting. And like I said, Amazon said it was 1%. They said for every um, 100 milliseconds, they got a, uh, it cost them 1% in sales. So you're losing conversions for that. But it's also not ADA compliant. According to the ADA rules, it can't have any errors. It, it's got to be W3C valid code. It says it in their rules. It's got to be W3C valid code. This thing's got 30 errors in it. So it's not, w, it's not ADA compliant because of these errors. One error can prevent it from working correctly in a device. It can cause all kinds of problems. In addition to that, you've got your, um, the, the errors here for, for the CSS. These are five CSS errors and, and 222 warnings. And in, in addition to that, this thing's using, if, if you look in here, it uses the at, um, uses at important. Let's see, where's the, there's another one. Uses of important is 569 times. So it uses important 569 times and that overwrites the rules. I mean, that, that's, I mean, you should not be using at important any at all. The reason it's doing that is because it's using an outdated version of Bootstrap. You shouldn't be using Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a way for beginners who don't know how to design websites. They use things like Bootstrap and Bootstrap is just, 
it's a made for the masses mess. I mean, you shouldn't be using it at all anyway, but this website is not ADA compliant because of those errors. In addition to that, when you're ADA compliant, when you're setting up the ADA stuff, if you, the alt text is used to describe the images and everything else. This thing has 26 alt texts that are all the same. The, the alt texts on the images are all the same. The, it's missing heading tags. When you're, when the reader is reading that stuff, it's got the alt tag, the header tag should be in order. You got to have the header tag, the H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. Those are all used for, on those readers. So the header tags, and it tells you here, is skipped a level here. So the heading tags aren't set up correctly, and that also hurts your ranking. So it's got several ranking problems, several ranking penalties, and in addition to that, you've got the ADA compliance issue. So it's got two major problems that need to be fixed, the speed and the ADA compliance stuff. And, I, and there's tools on here that your web design company can use these tools. You've got W3C valid code. If you write an article, you check to make sure you didn't misspell something. If you look right here, this, this screen is, is bad practices. So this is just a bad practice. You shouldn't be putting the, the backslash at the end there. And it's got some error, other errors in here. This is saying that the, that there's no color. It, this is saying that at the bottom, there's a four pixel solid slash nine. That doesn't tell it anything. There's got to be a color code in here. Four pixel solid what? What color is it? So that there's errors, things that the, that the web design company forgot to include in the content. So I, I would make them take the bootstrap out and I'd make them, when they finish the website, use W3C, make sure there's no errors and use the Google tool and make sure that it's, that this should be a hundred percent across the entire board right here. If you take, uh, here's, my website. If you take my website and I haven't checked it in a while, it may have errors and stuff because I, I just loaded it up this morning with some changes. But, but I wouldn't use, and I don't think it's using WordPress, but I wouldn't use WordPress and it should be fully loaded. This is a hundred percent across the entire thing. And this is an image heavy website. It was 0.9 for the first and 0.9 for the, the fully loaded. But I mean, like I said, I threw some stuff on there this morning loading it and now it's not doing that anymore. But at the very least, at the very least, this is what your website should look like. And on the code, it should be no errors, error free. And, and that's just checking the code. And you, you can see if you look at my website, it's image heavy. I mean, th this thing is full of images and everything else. So this is an image heavy website with videos and other stuff on here. And it still gets a hundred percent on the, the stuff. So the web design company needs, and if they have any questions or if they have any problems, I'll answer any questions I've got and everything else, but they should build this thing out in pure CSS. There's, there's no reason to be using bootstrap. It's just made for beginners. It's a mess. And if you're a professional, you validate your code and they didn't validate their code. So they don't look very professional for that reason. And again, you can show them this video. You can tell them that if they have any questions, they can contact me, but the website is losing traffic. It's got errors and it could get you sued for not being ADA compliant because the web design company left errors in the code and they didn't set up the, the alt tags correctly. The alt tags, the header tags, all that stuff is not set up correctly. And in addition, like I said, one error can prevent it from working correctly in a device. And that device could be a hearing device or a reading device of some sort for people with hearing impairment. And then you get sued. 